Carter Page Carter Page was likely a subject of interest to Russian officials during the 2016 election, given that he was the only member of the Trump campaign foreign policy advisory team publicly identified as a Russia expert. Page had previously lived in Russia and had worked on Russia policy and energy issues. Russian intelligence officers had in previous years interacted with Page. The committee found no evidence that Page made any substantive contribution to the campaign or ever met Trump. Prior to Page being added to the campaign's advisory committee, he indicated to senior campaign officials that he was in contact with individuals who were close to the Kremlin and were interested in arranging a meeting between Trump and Putin. Page later repeated the suggestion of a Trump-Putin meeting to senior campaign staff. The committee was not able to corroborate Page's claimed contacts and found no indication that the campaign took action on Page's offers. In the summer of 2016, Page was invited to make two addresses in Russia, including an address during the commencement ceremonies at Moscow's new economic school, NES. This invitation was extended because of the Russian sponsor's perception of his role in the Trump campaign. Page returned to Moscow in NES in December 2016 after his role with the campaign had ended, but Wiley was seeking a position with the new administration. During these visits, Page met briefly with a figure about whom the intelligence community has counterintelligence concerns, and the committee was unable to obtain a complete picture from Page or his document production about his itinerary in Moscow. Page did not explain to the committee, for example, how he spent the bulk of several days. Many allegations in the media regarding Page's activities in Russia in 2016, as well as almost all assertions about Page in the Steele dossier, remain unverified. In addition, Page's claims to the campaign regarding his activities and influence in Moscow remain unsubstantiated.